Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question is we have to arrange the compounds of each in the set of reactivity towards SN2 displacement reaction. So SN2 what we have told is for SN2 what we need? We need a strong nucleophile right and then uh, less steric hindrance less steric hindrance one degree is better correct so those kind of thing we have so let's see this first two bromo two methyl butane let's draw this methyl two bromo two methyl butane so let's draw butane first and then at second position i have a bromo at second position i have a methyl group this is my two bromo two methyl butane and then i have bromo pentane one two three four five at one i have a bromo so let me add a bromine here and then two bromo pentane so i have a pentane here at second i have a bromo correct so i drew this structure if i see this bromine this my alpha carbon is one two three three degree in this case my alpha carbon is one degree in this case my alpha carbon is this guy that is two degree obviously one degree is better right so this is best for sn2 this is best so this I'll give number one. This is what? This is number one. And then this is number two and this is number three. For SN2. For SN1 you can just reverse it. Correct. Next, see this. One bromo three methyl butane. So let's try butane first. One bromo three I have a methyl butane. Then it's two bromo two methyl butane. So let's have a butane butane 2 bromo and 2 i have a methyl and then i have again butane 2 bromo 3 methyl so these are the three compounds i have again see this is my star carbon with a halogen this is one degree this is my star carbon with the halogen one to three degree this is again my star carbon with the halogen that is two degree so again here one degree is better right so this is best, so this is best one, then two degree, that is this guy, and then three degree, this guy. This is my best for SN2, best. This is also for SN2. Let's do one more. So I have one bromobutane, and then I have 1 bromo 2 to dimethyl propane. So let's see this. 1 bromo butane, let me draw this. Meth, it, pro, but, right? At 1 I have a bromo. And then I have dimethyl propane, meth, it, pro. At 2, 2 I have dimethyl. 1 I have bromo. And then I have methyl butane meth it pro but is first and two i have methyl one i have a bromo and then i have methyl butane let's draw butane first four carbon and then three i have a methyl and then one i have a bromo right let's see this star carbon one degree this star carbon again is one degree but it has steric hindrance right this star carbon is again one degree one degree, one degree, but less steric hindrance. And this is no steric hindrance. Correct. And this is also one degree with uh, this is also less, but the max is this steric hindrance, and there is least in this, right? So this is best, no steric hindrance. This guy is first guy, winner. And then this uh, steric hindrance is lesser in this, right? Because there are two carbon and then I have this chain, right? This is the second one. And then again, this guy. And the maximum steric hindrance is with this guy. This will be the order for SN2. The question is out of C6H5CH2Cl and C6H5CHCl, C6H5, which can be easily hydrolyzed by aqueous KOH. 
So let's see this. Let's draw first. The C six H five C H two C L. The other is this guy C H C L and this guy. See aqueous K O H, right? Hydrolysis. This is SN one reaction. That means it involves carbo cation formation. Correct. So for SN one reaction, the one with more degrees. This is, this is one, two, two degree, and this is one degree. This is better. Better for SN one. Correct. So this will be easily hydrolyzed. By aqueous KOH, because aqueous KOH hydrolysis is SN one reaction. So if you know this, that hydrolysis by aqueous KOH is SN one reaction, then you can easily solve this. Let's see some more conversion from propene to one propanol. So what we can do is I have this propene. I have to convert this to propanol. Correct. So if I can add some uh, halogen here, here, then I can replace halogen with OH very easily. Correct. So to add halogen here, I have to follow anti-Marconi rule. So the only option is I can add HBr in presence of peroxide. So let's do that. So I'll add HBr in presence of peroxide, right? So what I'll get is this product, and on this I can use a KOH, right? This is again my SN one reaction. So OH will replace this Br, so this becomes OH. This is my propanol. But here, since it's a single degree, there's a chance that it may go for SN two reaction also. But doesn't matter. End of the day, you'll get propanol. The other method is you can do uh, hydroboration, and then you can do oxidation. But that's a little tricky one, so we can ignore that. This is ethanol to butyne. This is my ethanol. I have to convert it to butyne. So what is my butyne? Butyne is. Uh, Meth, it, pro, but, and butyne. This is my reaction. I think we have done similar kind of thing. What we can do is we can replace this H O H with maybe bromine, chlorine, or maybe any other halogen. And then what we can do is we can have this C H double bond C H and a react, and then we can add this to it. So let's do that. So this. We can react with. Uh, we can add HI. It will be a SN2 reaction. This so I'll get this compound, right? So here OH is not a good leaving group, but let's convert this to a good leaving group. So this is a good leaving group, right? Good leaving group. So once I have a good leaving group now, now what we can do is I can react this with CH triple bond CH in presence of NaNH2. It will also be a SN2 reaction, right? Because what we are forming is here is CH triple bond CNA minus NA plus. So this guy will attack this iodine actually, right? And what you get is what we want. This is the output. Pretty easy. So we have SN2 reaction followed by again SN2 reaction. Correct. That was one way. Let's take this guy. I have one bromopropane to two bromopropane. So here I have uh, bromo uh, bromine here in the last. I have to convert this into metal. That's what I have to do. So it's pretty easy actually. I can uh, remove this uh, Br. It will be a double bond. And then I can do a HBr addition using Markovnikov rule. I'll get this bromine here. 
correct so let's do this i can remove the bromine to do that to do that what i can do is i can use alcoholic koh and little bit of heat this will go for de hydrohalogenation that is e2 reaction right so what we'll get is this guy and on this i can just add hbr using my normal markonic of rule so br will be added here and that's it so this is my two bromopropyl the next is toluene to benzyl alcohol i think we have done this this is toluene i have to convert this into benzyl alcohol that is ch2oh but directly we can't replace hydrogen with oh so we have to convert this hydrogen to cl and then cl is a good living group then we can convert uh, replace this chlorine with oh so what we can do is we can make it to cl and make it, converting this uh, replacing h with cl is not difficult we can just have this chlorine presence of sunlight or uh, pass some uh, heat if you want this is a free radical reaction what you'll get is one of the hydrogen will be replaced with chlorine so you'll get ch2cl now since cl is a good leaving group right i can use aqueous koh please note that if you use there is a difference when sometimes we use alcoholic koh if you use alcoholic koh we talk about dehydrohalogenation when you use aqueous koh we talk about nucleophilic because this is a nucleophile now right this will be a nucleophile so it'll again go for a sn2 reaction and what you get is ch2oh or what you can do is instead of this you can directly add water so water also has a uh, is a nucleophile right it will be but a weak nucleophile will go for sn1 reaction and what you'll get is ch2oh so any of these is fine right you can go for any of this method you'll end up at again getting same product so it will be sn1 this will be sn2 the next is we have to convert benzene to four bromo nitropenzene so here is a trick i think we have done this kind of thing uh, in the class 11 where we have converted benzene to bromo nitrobenzene so here if you see this is my benzene i have to convert it into four bromo nitro that is first i have a nitro 1 2 3 4 i have a bromo correct so i have to convert this in this form now if i add nitro first i will not be able to add bromine in the para position correct because nitro is mineral dieting group so first i have to add bromine and bromine is ortho and para dieting group and then we can add nitro correct first bromination then nitration so let's do first bromination bromination is pretty easy You can add just Br two. So what you get is one of the hydrogen is replaced. You get bromine, and then you can use nitration for nitration. You use nitric acid HNO three and concentrated H two SO four. So what you get is Br and NO two. Correct. This will be a major one, but minor you will also get uh, meta one, meta. Uh, right this is also you'll get but this will be minor and this will be major product so the next is ethyl alcohol to two phenyl ethanoic acid let's see this sorry benzyl alcohol this is my benzoyl alcohol i have to convert this into two phenyl ethanoic acid this is what we have to convert see one thing is you can do is you can oxidize this to make coh i'll show you one is you can oxidize this using kmno4 right so what you get is this guy coh and then now the challenge is co oh now we have to add ch2 that's the challenge right so what we can do is we can convert this oh to cl somehow and then we can add ch2 right using ch2 n2 so let's do that we use pcl5 we'll convert this into 
sorry COCl and then we can add CH2 into so with this you get the product you are looking for little uh, difficult uh, example this is 2-phenylethanoic acid right this is what one example is or what you can do is we start with this right let's let's start another method see another option is you now only you react this guy with PCL5 it will become C2H5Cl correct sorry CH2Cl now on this react with KCN this is a very strong nucleophile KCN minus it will replace chlorine so what will become it is become it will become CH2CN there is benzyl cyanide on this you can add H plus and water so with this also you will get what you want that is 2-phenyl ethanoic acid this is a better reaction thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again